Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I'm your host, Valgo Sonari, back with the MST playthrough. This is the Battle of Koalupa once again. And this one's going to be hopefully a little bit easier, actually, than the previous one that I did. I might even pull out a win on this one. I'm hoping to, because my god, the defeats have been real. They have been in um, not short supply in the past couple of episodes, so we need to we need, to, need a uh, turnaround here in a little bit. So uh, we're going to do our best, for sure, to get victory, but... We're going to definitely try to weaken their forces as much as possible. So I'm going to initiate here and we're going to try to take out the elemental first. So how's everybody doing this morning? Good morning. Good morning to the squad. Thank you for showing and hope you enjoy the episode. So we're going to get on the road and stay on the road. Do a hit and away and try to get this thing dead really quick. So 83%. Very good. And 83 damage. That's kind of weird. All right. Very good. I just saw my boy Trigger beat uh, the uh, his first playthrough of Shinobi Tribe. That was pretty exciting. So definitely give him a follow, Veracity Trigger. He is in all of my uh, descriptions in my videos on Brigandine. You can find his channel there. Uh, let's see. Let's do Life Drain. 174. I'm If this hits... Okay, we should be able to kill with um, Emma. Yes, I almost said Carla because I'm fighting Shinobi Tribe. So... Um, we don't need to do a grain wave. We can save that. And I'm not in range of divine ray, which is great. 99%. No! <laughs> That's fine. I have a centaur. I have a centaur. I was going to maybe do grain wave because I thought that would kill for sure. But, uh, I keep forgetting that, uh, the green is resistant to the blue attacks. But still, man, it actually resisted that much. Okay. That's, that's fine. So, let's, no, don't get on the road. I want the dogs to be on the road. I want you to be, like, here, for example. It doesn't really matter, but, let me get 100%. There we go. All right. I took an extra unit. That's okay. We're still in good positions. The Cyclops. So, I don't have to worry about back range damage, Harley, at all. Um, they do have Toby's attack. Uh, is he... He starts out as his, as his uh, second class, right? Let me see. What's his... um? Yeah, Sonic combo. He's got that going for him. Um, and then there's a Centaur here. There's a freaking Goblin Knight here. So they've got range capability for sure. Just they can't utilize all of it if we have them, you know, choked out right here. So, um, Man, I really wish I could use Mountain Terrain with these uh, Gygases here. It'd be amazing. So... um. I think I want to save this space for something else, actually. I want you to be in front. Uh, the golem, can you get in front? Not yet. Crap. I want to put you on the side, actually. Um, maybe the the sea serpent would do well here, actually. Just breath this line right here the entire time. But then again, they have limited um, melee units that are going to come in here. So we'll see. We'll see. But, let's bring you this way. Yes, this is a good spot here. So, 72%. I'll take it. Ah. It was worth a shot. So, minuscule counter damage. Not a big deal. Alright, the dog. Let's see. We gotta move Gimp Gilliam first, man. Um, I don't plan on doing any uh, big offensive magic with him. However, let's see. One, two... Three. I want to keep him out of range of uh, attacks. So, that's either the spot or this is the spot. Hmm. I think I think this is the spot actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, go here. So, uh, let's see the dog now on the road. Hmm. I guess we could hit up the wyvern since we're not really hitting anybody else right now. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> nice miss there, fantastico. Keep moving back. Very good. All right, Golem. We'll get you there eventually. Golems are actually going to see a lot of day today. We're going to see some fights. Um, I don't want to take up too many uh, spots here because of the mages, and there's also the uh, nightmare I have to think about as well. Um, yeah, let's go here. It's a flyer, so, and boom. Nice crit. Nice crit. Very good. Alright. Heals over here. 
Okay, we got plenty of healing. We're going to be here for a bit, so get comfortable. Assuming some BS doesn't happen, you know. But <clears throat> they don't really have the damage output to, you know, throw a freaking water torrent my way that, like last battle. My god, man. That, that caught me by surprise very much. It was kind of crazy. A Halo on Toby, eh? Okay. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Do not worry. We will keep her healthy. That Kawaddle is going to go down very quick. We got we got arrows coming their way. So is the other Wyvern, but I want to take down the Kawaddle first, if I can. Um, did you th slap a protection on... God. Okay. That's fine. We got spell break, but it's not until next turn, so. Um, we can afford to be here. However, you are in range of Sonic Combo. Sonic Combo's MP cost is what? Hang on. He used one already. It's 40. So he can use two more. It's, uh, it's not good. Um, okay. Well, it's not like she has Geno Frost anyways. Um, then again... <laughs> I'm still having to put you in range of that BS, so. Well. Okay, hold up. Move you, move you first. Your spot is above the uh, Cyclops, if I can manage that. I'm probably going to have to put you here, which is fine. I don't think he'll actually go for her, but she's also in range of uh, the Goblin Knight as well. That's also not good. I hate to lose a leader really quickly in this battle in particular. It wouldn't be great. This definitely uh, holds back my damage potential because they're just going to stay back and do range attacks. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't know because the, the HP is so low. I don't think I'm safe here to be honest. At least for right now. I really don't think I'm safe here. Because they could potentially move a unit away and then get a centaur in there to, to attack me. So, I know I'm thinking about it too much, but like... I really think they're going to try to pull a... You know, a fast one on me if I put her any closer, so... Um... Yeah, you can go right here for spell break later on, possibly. You can help this front over here. Okay, Nightmare. Uh, I would like for you to do damage in front, but then again, it's hard to it's hard to do that. <laughs> um, you know what? I might try to put a weakness on Toby from this angle. That might be good. That could be very good, actually. And if the centaur pops in here, I could put a weakness on him as well. So, yeah, we'll go here. <laughs> Grand Wave. I'm thinking about where to place it. I mean, this would not be bad whatsoever, actually. I get a leader in there and potentially paralyze him. However, they have plenty of ways to cure that, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, he's got a unicorn on his team. Let's see. Centaur. And he's stupid evasive, too. It's not like I can hit him with like anything else. I'd have to burst him down with magic, which I don't really have. So... Yeah, killing off Toby might not be possible, to be honest. Um, okay, I think the best thing is to try to go for this Wyvern here. Just because of the protection spell. Look at the damage, it's terrible. Well, it's not guaranteed. So, yeah, let's try to take this one down. We could do a hit and away, then a Grand Wave. Um, but I might give the dog the experience, though, because... She can afford to take uh, counter damage or miss, maybe. Well, they won't counter Grand Wave anyways. Uh, 181. 102 because of green. Oh my god. Ew. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 129. I still could paralyze. I mean, it's worth it if I can get that to pop off, but... Yeah. I gotta remember she can move and do this too. She, I can do this twice. Um, I could potentially paralyze a healer. I don't know if they'll commit to curing a healer or not. I'm not sure. 142. 
Uh, yeah, go here. No paralysis. Okay, that's fine. Wouldn't matter too much anyways, but it would have wasted MP, so yes, it does matter, I guess. Um, so with the Hound, I won't be able to kill it. I do have Necker Scream, though, but... 85 damage. I can do it, I just have to guarantee the hits. So, it's 87%. Necker Scream's definitely not gonna be 100. 79%. That's almost a kill! Man. Uh, let's see. Nothing's died yet, right? Oh no, the elemental has... Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Fam. Uh, <laughs> this might be worth it. Hello. I'm doing it. Yep, I'm doing it. It's like my first Necro Rebirth ever on recorded video. <laughs> I've done it off screen several times on PlayStation, but... Um, yeah. You don't see that from me very often on a uh, video. That's really good. Ouch. Hopefully, they'll try to focus the elemental down too. That way, uh, I don't have to worry about losing my own monsters, you know, because that's going to go away regardless. Okay, this is 87%. Let's go for it. Nice, nice crit. I wish that would have killed. <clears throat> nice miss, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. Back to the road you go. Okay. Who's next? Gilliam is next. Um, we have a centaur. We can kill it with a centaur. So, um, we don't have good options, though, with either of these guys. That's the problem. Um, I do want to make sure that I keep the front line, you know, healthy and stuff like that. So, or sturdy, whatever you want to call it. 53% chance. The counter damage is not good against me. So, I could save the centaur for the Kuwadl, actually. Um, hang on. I don't assume the uh, Cyclops has better percentage, but I'm going to check that anyways. 2% extra. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, sure, I'll gamble. Wow, it worked. Wow. Not too bad when you're trying to get a kill shot, really. It's worth the shot. All right. There's here, and then the uh, Sea Serpent is hopefully going to take the spot above you. Here in a second. Um, okay. So we've got that. We can't spell break the defense, unfortunately. Um, the Nightmare is not on this team. We can't reach that anyways, but I'm going to weakness Toby here. After his next turn, so. Uh, this dog right here. Um, I'm not confident that you can go here and then go back, uh, too far. You can probably make it back to here, though. Because you're going to be... Moving on road the entire time, right? Yeah, that's all road right there. So. Yeah, I could try to go for the goblin because he can't paralyze me with melee attack. He could poison me, though. Um, 70% here. Ugh, I hate the defense. Uh, yeah, I go here. That's actually weakness. That's red against green. Ain't no poison. We can get away. Oh my god! Uh, I thought for sure he could get back to here because he used road. Oh, man. That's actually not good at all. Um, <laughs> probably going to move you back one here, my dude. Uh, that's okay. Man, I might have lost my hound. I might have lost my hound. Okay. Fine. Let's see about getting this guy down a little bit more, maybe. 31 damage. <sighs> yeah, go here. I can't justify it, man. I've got to get rid of that defense buff. The plague. Alright, we've got to heal Emma. They're going to try to focus her down with range a lot. And hopefully we get some misses in there. So, uh, Let's see. I can prepare here, I think. Although, I'm still wary of putting her right here. Luckily, she does have heals. Uh... In case we need that, which we might just save it for that. You go here. Yeah, I'm just thinking about where to place Aisha if I want to move her. I don't know if I need to do any healing. 440. 
It's a decent heal. So is that. I might go for this, actually. Yeah, go here. <clears throat> really? No heals? I thought for sure there would be a heal. That's fine. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. I can't hit the bastard. He's so freaking evasive. Yeah. All these range attacks, man. Yep. Keep wasting it, man. Keep wasting it. Ouch. Counter. Yep. 16 minutes in the battle. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. More hitting experience up. My goodness. They're getting double that, by the way. So, they're getting double. Well, even more so, of course, because of Halo. So... So you put yourself in range of my spell, actually, and now I can spell break you. Hmm. It's not going to matter for magic, obviously, but I need to spell break you for uh, um, physical attacks. Yep. Okay, thanks for moving inward. <laughs> that definitely helped. Okay, so... I really, really wanted to put weakness on Toby. Not that it matters too much. He's got one more shot on a Sonic combo. Um, I think weakness needs to go here. Because we're going in a row from Aisha, and then Emma, and then Gilliam. Which is a good thing. We got one more Grain Wave. That's a guaranteed hit. If I do weakness here, I could potentially get the kill with a Necro Scream, and then a Grand Wave. That might do it. In the process, maybe even paralyzing Toby. That would be amazing. So, plus we have the Frost attack. So, it may actually only take Frost and then Grand Wave. But I think I would have to put Weakness on him. So, the Frost is happening for sure. 142. Good. I don't think... Even with Weakness on, I don't think Grand Wave is going to do 240. But, I think we're doing it anyways. Yep. Yep, yep. We can finally get the Sea Serpent in uh, in its designated spot that I had uh, planned for it all along. Okay, there's a heal there. It's fine if they want to try to focus her down, but it's not going to work. Alright, what turn is it? It's only turn four? My god. I feel, I feel like I've been here for at least three turns during recorded video. It took me three turns to get here. But, uh, man, we've only gone through one full round. Wow. So, well, I guess two because it's turn five, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, you've got weakness. Let me see what the damage is like with Grand Wave. I know Deadly Rush could most definitely do it, but... Nope, not quite. Can Deadly Rush do it? Okay, it can, but it's not guaranteed hit. I do want to do Grand Wave to potentially paralyze Toby. Um, could do a shot. That would guarantee a hit, but I would hit my dog. Um, what's Necro Scream look like? That is 53%. So bad. Um, you know what? I might... So after shooting, I might actually bring the Cyclops over this way. Do a hit somewhere. Um, you still have MP, right? Yeah, you can do Divine Ray. Which is fine. Um, and then move the dog in for better percentage against you. It shouldn't matter too much because I do have a guaranteed breath attack from here. <clears throat> I don't want to compromise my formation if I don't have to. So I think what needs to happen is grain wave here and then breath here, right? Yeah, that should be able to do it because it's guaranteed hits on both. So what is it one more time? I should definitely be able to do 44 on a weakened Kawaddle with a hell breath attack or hellfire attack. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. Let's do it. Let's do it. I paralyzed the Kowaddle, <laughs> which isn't going to matter here. Uh, actually, does it, it's, it's actually a good thing. We can kill it now um, with you. That's really, really good. I didn't even consider it. So I was just thinking about like trying to get through um, the worst scenarios possible, you know. Um, 
I could move you up because you can afford to die. And I only have one more shot with you. It's worth just moving you in so I can get some uh, more backline damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just, just move in. Just move in. Boom, boom, boom. This thing started with lower MP, didn't it? It should have been able to do... Yeah, that's right. Necro Rebirth no longer um, heals to full MP in this game. It used to in the, in the OG version, so... But at least it can do two. It's worth it. Okay. We can't use the dog, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, take advantage of the paralysis, for sure. So here. Bam. Very cool. Nice. We got some loot. We've already killed an elemental tier two and also a wyvern tier two. Coatl. So we're doing well. We're doing really well, as a matter of fact. Next is you. You are next. Little goblin dude. Little gobby dude. Let's see. 100% 111. Yep. I don't want all this ranged paralysis going off. Don't really care for that. So, can we get you with Necro Scream? We can. I don't think the dog can do that much damage. But he is weak, so let's see. We can! 100%! Bye! Wow. That's four tier twos now? The elemental, coatal, no, and then, then yeah, that's three, right? Yeah, that's three. Level 10. Can he get away? He can. <laughs> wow, clutch move, doggy boy. Oh, man. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stay with us, man. You're gonna stay with us. We like you. Um, and we have an enclosure tactic right here we can pull off with a golem. Wouldn't this be amazing? This is a perfect spot for the golem, actually. 99%. For whatever reason, I thought that was going to be like a, the the 1% miss that I experienced in this game. I don't think I've had a 1% miss yet in this game, even off screen. Uh, I think I have a recorded 2% uh, miss, don't I? Or that would be 98% uh, hit percentage. And then I missed. Uh, I forget what my highest was. I think it was 98, right? So it was 90. I know I definitely missed a 97. On this playthrough, I think. I've missed a 97. But I forget. You guys can let me know. I don't remember. But Okay, you got protection on, so... Hellfire, yeah, it could do good damage to the green back here, so I might want to take advantage of that. And you can get away after doing so, which is amazing. Do damage, but 95 back here. Yeah, go. And it pull you back and heal you. Oof. Uh, Sonic Combo can reach that, which isn't going to matter too much. I think he's just going to try to hit Emma again. So, stay back here. We have plenty of heals left, man. This is this is going really, really well. Let's see. Not even close to turn 12 yet. Not even halfway done. Um, 23, 24 minutes uh, almost. So, uh, let's see. We definitely want to keep Emma healthy, but she can take a few more hits. Let's kill the dog. Because we'll definitely want to use him again. Just hitting away tactics, you know, back and forth. So, Alright, we have another Pegasus and or Nightmare on our way. Fantastic. I'm thinking about loop heal on somebody. It may be the, um, the Gygus. I never get that right. It's a Cyclops, dummy. Let's see. Um, do heals hurt the undead? Wait, I'm just curious. Hang on. Let me, let me check that really quick. Let me read that. Zombie. Surely it does, right? Uh, resurrected unit will take massive damage from white element attacks or judgment and will perish at the end of the battle. Okay, okay. So you can heal it. It doesn't take damage from healing magic, so. But it will be purged from, like, Divine Ray. Um, won't it do, like, 999 damage? Isn't that uh, the thing? Because I did that in the original game, too. Loop heal. So, hang on. <laughs> I know I'm procrastinating here. If I do loop heal, then do I lose a regular heal after that? So right now, as it stands, we have three more heals left, right? Yes. If I do loop heal, I lose a regular heal. So I either heal now or I pass turn. 
Um, that's 180. 180 something. It's not a bad heal on Emma. Yeah, go. I like the three heals better and not wasting a MP on loop heal. Even though loop heal can be great. But uh, in this scenario, different. Very much different. Uh, Golem, I think you're going to be a backup currently, man. <laughs> Until they kill that elemental or something. Uh, well, the elemental has to come out of there. But then again, it does have a melee attack. I could just like nick at them the entire time. Um, because I don't care if it dies. It's going to go away regardless. So you may just stand by. You know what? Let me move you this way. In case I want to move uh, Aisha. Yep. Divine Ray. Oh no, it's a purge. <laughs> my suspicions were confirmed right there. Oh my goodness, that's funny as hell. <laughs> oh man. That's really funny. She actually committed to it. Okay, there goes Toby's MP. And, uh... Medessa's MP is pretty far down now as it is. I, I think Divine Rays are gone. She definitely has a heal left, I would say. But, um... What?! Did you- did you see what just happened?! Who is that? It's Raish! She frontlined with... 59 strength! She frontlined with 59 strength?! Uh, bam! I haven't seen this yet in this game where a mage class has come towards the front line. Granted, I've seen it plenty of times in the OG, but like this right here is a first. And on the guard castle hex AI, uh, mind you, <laughs> what is this? Um, oh my God, I, I don't believe my eyes. I can pincer you. Um, yeah, because I'm going in a row. We're going <laughs> Oh man, I'm so sorry. I, I I'm very flabbergasted at this moment. Um 69 damage, good for you. Yeah, man. Wow. I've never seen that before. Do you have MP left? You do have MP. <laughs> Bam. Explain this to me, please. I need an explanation. I am in the dark. I think you guys are surprised just as I am. I guarantee it. Um, is weakness even worth it? I could just use two heals. In fact, I think I will. Heal the golem. Just keep the frontline healthy here. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. This is nuts to me. I don't know what to say. Uh, let's see. I can't reach you via magic, but uh, we can afford to move you uh, a little bit closer now, thankfully. So, because Toby's out of MP, um, the Centaur might be able to hit me if they maneuver a little bit, but I don't think they will. So, that's good. Um, let's see. We can spell break Toby right now. Do I have the MP? I do. Wow, two spell breaks in one fight that you, you don't see that very often, do you? Well, I guess you do if you're running with mermaids all the time, but like, uh, then again, um, they don't buff themselves too terribly often, depending on the situation. Uh, let's see. Yeah, moving one space closer. We're good on health currently, but I'm going to kill her right here. She's dead. We're going to pincer her and we're going to kill her right here. Um, that might be dangerous depending. Do you have... You do have MP for Divine Ray. I do not want to put you in that situation there, my guy. So, don't worry. It's all groovy. We are, however, going to do this. We are going to pincer. Hardcore. I can't believe she's done this. Yep. Yep, yep. With MP, too. Like, I could maybe understand it if she, uh... Didn't have any MP. I just wanted to come in here and do uh, do spanks all day. <laughs> but she's right here for the taking. Wow. Bye. Question mark. <clears throat> okay. Battle just got a lot easier. 
Let's see. Hitting away. Necro Scream. That should be able to do it. Maybe Necro can kill the Unicorn. Not quite. Not quite. A 3% chance to miss on that. <laughs> we'll see. Ever since missing that first 97%, like, I, I try to stifle the blow a little bit on me in case I happen to miss it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna... It's gonna suck if that happens, but, um... Anyway, you get what I mean. Let's see. Uh, back. Let's see. Yeah, go for Necro Scream. We're in range. Go. Nice. Very good. Alright. Centaur. Um... Do not hit the other centaur. You can it can counter. I keep forgetting it, but today I did not. So that's a good thing. That is never gonna hit you. I mean, it could, but yeah, let's go here. What's the name of that mandrake? Alondro. <laughs> I thought it said Alejandro for a second. I was like, man, that's the name of a knight. Hello, I'm stealing his name. Some freaking plagiarism there, or identity theft. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait a minute, what percentage was that? I swear that was a high percentage. What percentage was that? I didn't even look. Was that 97? Was that 97? Let me know, chat. Chat. I'm not streaming. Um, oh, I swear that was 97. Yeah. Wasn't it 97? <laughs> I think it was. Which is fine, I mean, whatever. But... It's not an important hit. If it was a very important hit, yes, I'd be raging right now, but... Uh, yeah. Anyway. We are doing hella good today, man. We're gonna, we're gonna take this fight. We are gonna take this fight. Um, let's see. You have two heals left. We are doing amazing. You are out. You have one heal left there. Aichi still has got MP for uh, heals if we need it. Um, heal the Cyclops. Yep. Odessa hasn't taken her turn yet, right? Yeah, yeah, so she'll probably use Divine Ray. Or she might heal the Mandrake and then she won't be able to use Divine Ray. That would be the best uh, scenario. So, this hit is not going to connect. Nope. So, we're just gonna... <laughs> Not even worry about that one. So, screw trying to hit Toby uh, melee, man. It's not gonna happen, so. You gotta pincer him or just take him down with magic. So. Yep. Yep. No more divine race. We're good. So now it's just trying to, you know, take them down as quickly as possible so we don't run out of time. Which we're fine there. So. Keep healing Toby. I don't even have any interest in hitting him right now. With anything. The only thing that can really connect is a magic spell. This is never going to hit. That has got to be 0%. It has to be. Okay, no paralyze. Very good. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill with Aisha, actually. Um, that would be amazing. 49. Uh, what can you do with 49? Another spell break. Uh, but I can't reach Toby, so good call there, Toby. Respect. I don't think resist is important because they're out of magic. Wow, the angel is very depleted. You have one heal left. Uh, what about you? You're out. You're out. Yeah. They're honestly probably going to retreat after they do the next heal. Um, or maybe they think Toby can, like, care a little bit more. We'll see, though. Let's try, uh... I don't want to get paralyzed, though. That's the thing. Uh, I want to put... Do I want to put weakness or do I want to save it for heals? Yeah, I think I'm greedy. I think I just want to save it for heals. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I can't kill it with a bite and then a frost attack. It's not going to work. So there's no kill this round, unfortunately. But 117, yeah. And plus, it's resistant, so... Um, yeah, go. Might try to hit the centaur, actually. This guy's at full health. He's got two breath attacks left. Perfect for the front line. 69%. Good for you. Let's see. Is it an omen? This is 96. <laughs> 69%, 96 damage. 
Let's see. Coincidence? Yeah. Sure. Nope, didn't connect today. That's fine. Hmm. Spell break. Yeah, we'll move you forward. So we can reach Toby. Potentially. Alright, sure. Uh, there's a heal here for who? Is it Mr. Golem? Or is it Emma? I mean, we have plenty of heals for Emma anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, but... Um, level 6. Yeah, we're taking down a Mandrake too, so... Yeah, it's worth it's worth <clears throat> What are we at? 35 minutes! God. Damn. There may be only one battle today, yo. No joke. If I'm going to crank out four episodes per week, I've got to make sure that uh, I have time to record enough episodes per week. So if the battle runs too long, I may call it short. So we'll see. Uh, I am trying to get through it. Mind you, I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> so I want to put as many battles in as I can. Let's see. Man, I wish it was a guaranteed hit on his uh, big attack right here. It'd be amazing. Yeah, go. I may move the golem out so I can do hit and away. Assuming I don't get paralyzed. Uh, let's see. You have no more MP. However, this is a this is the best matchup. It was 97%. It was 97%. You can still confirm it in the comments, but like, yes. It definitely was 90%. Right? Uh, uh, yes, it, it was... It was definitely, definitely 97%. I missed a 3% today. Wow. How about that? Luckily, it wasn't that important. <laughs> That's when it really stings, you know? When you, like, have a leader kill shot. It's really important. And then it misses. Okay. Good. <laughs> There's a bron bronze golem. There's an iron golem, sorry. Uh, let's see. Do I move in there? I'm getting really greedy right now. None of this is good at all for you. So, yeah. Mm. Man, you know what? I I really hope Toby goes here. If he goes here, I can pincer him. Otherwise, I can't even get to him. Um, If you go here, you're in pretty big danger, but... And then you're out of range of Gilliam's heals, so it's not a, that's not a smart idea whatsoever, actually. Yeah, we can't do that. We cannot afford to do that. Um, 89. 85%. Try it. Nice. Okay, can we get out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. We do have a heal on the Nightmare, but I don't like it. She needs to stay around, stay here for one more round. Yeah, we're just going to end here. Yep. Okay. We will get the uh, heal, the final heal from Gilliam on Emma. For sure. So she can get in there next round. Contribute. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, this is going to be weakness on the centaur. Oh crap, it's out of rune. Oh man. A hellhound on Gilliam is not ideal, yo. Then again, I'm trying to, you know, scrounge and scrape for what I can. Let's see. I can't reach the centaur. Nope. Not without going out of the rune area. That's not good. Is it worth though? I may actually commit to it regardless. Let's see. 88, and then I get hit by 115. Not great, but I mean, they're almost gone. Yeah, go. Hope you can get out. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, the road should carry you out of there. So, very cool. Um. Yeah, I want to see if this is zero. Is this zero? Yep, yep. I, I definitely uh, suspect it as much. So, stand by. <laughs> stand by. 
move, stand by. <laughs> just to get out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> this is where the battle kind of lasts a little bit long. Just because I'm trying to, you know, get it in this choke point. It's really, really hard to manage it. So. He moved! I can, uh, I can enclose the centaur. I can enclose the centaur. Hell yes. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Um, you have to heal somebody. Aisha? Hmm. You're getting hit by the centaur. If I kill the centaur, I don't have to worry about you getting hit anymore. So really the heal should go to a melee unit. Um, it's probably going to be the, the serpent, actually. I know you're level 10, but I don't plan on using you anymore. Yep. Okay. I think we are out, right? I mean, Aisha's got heals. I'm not healing herself. But I might heal the dog, actually, now that I have uh, chances. And she's got one more after that. So, yeah, heal the dog. We'll use him now. <laughs> I didn't have plans to because of heals, but... Uh, we're okay. We're okay. I can spell break him right here. Bam. Get rid of that nonsense. That's twice I've had to spell break him. Okay. So, do we do a guaranteed hit this way? It would be better just because this is... Uh, he would do more damage to me. We go that way, but... I think this is better. Or... I could move out and then do uh No, I don't need to. His HP's too low. Yeah, I, I, I don't need to. Yeah, just do this. I think it's too hard. <laughs> Alright. You're out. What turn is it now? Like, 8? I feel like we've been just rolling through turns at this moment. Yeah, it's turn 8. Wow, I called it. Uh, let's see. Golem, I think I'm most definitely getting you out of there. However... This should be happening first. 97%. A lot of 97s today. It's making me nervous. So, actually it shouldn't. It's a great percentage. What am I saying? All right, you are at 151. Um, shot and then a hit. What is the accuracy here? 95%? I would like to get Emma some more experience though. You're level 10. Yeah, let's get her in there. Let's get her in there. We'll guarantee some hits here. I know it's 95, it's pretty much guaranteed, but if that misses, I'm going to be very sore. So, uh, we can't kill him outright. I'm not taking counter damage. So, let's use Scream first. Bam. Can Necro Scream crit? I don't think I've seen that on my playthroughs. I may have uh, done it, but I don't recall it uh, ever critting. Can Necro Scream crit? Bam. Nice. Okay. I think it's finally time to start hitting up uh, Medessa. So. I'm in range right now. It's going to be better. Uh, even though it's reduced accuracy, I'm never hitting him. So. We got to try. Wow. It happened. Actually happened. I can't pincer her either, so I'm, I'm just... You know, flying by the seat of my pants here on my uh, luck percentages. So, uh, yeah, this should be uh, this should be a good time trying to kill her. Let's see, counter damage is not crazy bad, but okay. Yep. Expect a lot of misses here, yo. It's gonna happen. All right, you're out of MP. I do need to move you forward though, so I can get things in there. Uh, so. You're going to have to go here. Which is fine. Um, I need to move the golem out of the way. Yep. Dog gets in there. Let's see. 53%. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. They're out of heals. They may, they may retreat. If they're smart, they'll retreat. Because we're just eventually going to take her down. 
Okay, you can take this spot here that the golem had to do a shot. 29. Yeah. Mm. Horrible. I hate this map, yo. I hate the choke point. So bad. They're staying. For no reason. Well, there's a reason. He... He can faint me? He's got that capability? I don't recall this. Wait a minute. Oh, the lightning talons do it. Oh, you jerk. You jerk. Oh, no. Um, He's still enclosed. I thought he couldn't get enclosed if I have a fainted creature here. Regardless. um, I have to heal somebody. It's probably going to be the sea serpent. Yeah. Giant snake. I know. I know. I wonder if she can cure that. Can you cure it? You can. I don't have a cure on that team. Not available. It's on this team. Yeah, cure it. Yep, yep. You are not getting away with that, my guy. Okay. I could make some more room here. I'm probably going to be saying goodbye to this uh, this snake, but that's okay. It's still so low. But it's better than 22. Let's try it. It's a crit on top of it. Wow. Very cool. Okay. I can't afford to take too many uh, risks up in there. I'm going to have to use that for... Uh, for Emma and stuff like that, so yeah, we'll be doing that. We may be able to get him, but he's still going to evade like a son of a bitch. Um, yeah, just wait. You're out. You cannot contribute. <laughs> oh man, at this final part, we're trying to wait it out until 12. That's almost 50 minutes in the battle. My god. <laughs> That is two battles worth you. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to last this long. This is nuts. Uh, I wonder if we can pump out a feint here. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'm going to have to. It's my best option. Golem would be lower. Yeah. Yes! Yes! I can't believe it! Okay, so I think Emma's gonna have high percentage, so it's better to hit with the, uh, um, with him, with the, uh, what, with a lich, god, uh, but I want it to be, like, physical damage, right, um, or, like, in-your-face damage, melee damage, we'll just call it in-your-face damage from now, <laughs> why not, uh, I can't be Divine Raid from there, they're out of MP, so we're safe. 100% 191. God bless America. <laughs> uh, what do we got? 92%. Woo! Woo, what a clutch move by the Cyclops. MVP Cyclops. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Man. That was a beautiful sight. I don't care who you are. You can't hate. There's no way. Yep. I really hope she retreats. I'm going to be sick and tired of trying to get her out of here. <laughs> it's very, very annoying. Weighing on my mind. Um, maybe. Instead of trying to kill her. With low percentage. Try to kill an Archangel. Because you are flying. Alright. Alright. You're not going to do anything. Uh, let's see. Good try for another hit in the way right here. That's got sort of high potential. Crap. Ooh. Ooh. A critical spank. My goodness. Never saw it coming. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to get him up in there, so I don't want to take the spot, so we'll just try this. <sighs> nope. Man. Ugh, I hate it. 
This map is garbage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. V. Hell yeah. All right. That's going to be it for today, folks. Let's go to the outro. <laughs> My goodness, what a fight. Check out that result, yo. Check out that result. We had one, two, three, four, four tier twos. We killed four tier twos and wounded two leaders in that horrendous map. My goodness. I don't know, again, why Raish decided to frontline herself. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It had to be like a sort of like a glitch or a malfunction or just a I don't know anyway I'm not complaining we got away completely clean very happy about that one and that gives us another choke point so that definitely helps we have story time yay oh yeah this is one of the uh, uh, the generals um, scenes or whatever so I'll never pass through these these will always be in here uh, because if this is your first playthrough that you're watching I'll always keep these so the five brigandine In a time before kingdoms, five young travelers arrived at the foot of the Rune Mountains. They were in search of the legendary glowing mana stones, said to rest in the spring of mana, a fountain that overflowed with mana power. Rumor had it that it, the wielding a mana stone would grant the wearer magnificent powers, wealth, and fame that was beyond imagining. However, not far from this fountain was the home of a magical beast so tall that it pierced the sky, known as Endorian. And so it happened that many of the young travelers who left in search of a mana stone never returned. But, as luck would have it, each of these five travelers found a mana stone of their own right before Endorian attacked. The travelers raised the glowing stones above their heads, and all at once, Endorian's fiery breath was repelled before being completely extinguished. As the young travelers returned home, each carried back one of the five mana stones and embedded the stones into a treasured piece of armor or accessory. Eventually, each of these special pieces of armor came to be known as Brigandines, before being given their own unique names, Justice, Sanctity, Freedom, Glory, and Ego. But people came to believe that as long as the five Brigandines were around, their sacred land of Renersia would prosper forever. I love that scene, every time. Every time. <clears throat> What's one of your guys' favorite, like, uh, generic scenes, you know, that you see every playthrough? I'm just curious about that, so. Alright, training grounds, all that good stuff. And I'll pass through that. Let me get to my map. No more story. Okay, I have a lot of organization to do before we uh, get into anything else because we have to recover and reset up because of our defeats that we had on the previous episode, so there's that. But uh, do not worry, I will recover from that. And uh, in due course, we will take this continent, so... Which makes me uh, curious. There is what the map looks like currently. So we took out Morelva very early. And we are headed up into Gustava. Doing some damage there on the east. And we are doing some heavy, heavy damage in the west. About to take out Gaimul. Three more castles left. Hopefully that won't take too much more time. And Shinobi is pretty, um, you know, on their last legs here uh, coming up. So I wonder if Norzalia will help me up uh, a little bit with the Shinobi tribe. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Vago Sonari. If you did enjoy the video, always leave it a like. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this, including guy videos and Let's Play series. If you have not caught my recent creation of Dragoon Lavitz from Legend of Dragoon in Soul Calibur VI Character Creator, you can catch that video in the top right-hand corner or at the outro of this video. And if you want to go ahead and make those, uh, there's more. I think I created Dart as well and also Rose from Dragoon if you are fans of that game. Anyways, once again, I'm your host, Valgus Sonari, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.